Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so this one is just going to be a quick one and so I decided to just kind of make the piece and do my own thing and I figured I'd do a voiceover. So what we have here is uh, Oxide Black by Amsterdam. I did three coats of that on this MDF round, which is a 14 inch uh, MDF round. And then the colors I'm using are Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo, uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Then we have uh, Thalo Blue Turquoise by Amsterdam Expert Series, followed by Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. And then last but not least, my made up concoction of Turquoise Green and Titanium white by Amsterdam to get that nice blue Tiffany blue color All right, so I'm just going to flood the round as I said, it's a 14 inch MDF This is a commission for a client um, A while back I did a piece exactly like this on a 16 inch round using a metal turtle stencil and the stencils are from Loli Vefi so you can check out the website at lolivefi.com and you can get the stencils there um, and you can also save 10% off using code canela10. So right now I'm literally just going to pour down all the colors no rhyme or reason uh, I didn't really put them in any specific order because they're just all being you know, poured down onto the wood board. Um, so while I'm doing that, I will mention super quick, uh, there's about a week left. There's still time and there are still spots available um, for you to come and see me in Fort Myers, Florida, along with Kathleen from Cause Creations. We will be teaching two days, July 13th and 14th at the Hyatt Hotel in Fort Myers. If you are interested in coming, come and see us. Come and paint with us. We are going to be teaching four classes. Each class is four and a half hours long. That is a long class. You get everything supplied to you. There's going to be lunch. There's going to be a dinner on the Saturday night where we can all hang out together. It is going to be a great time. If you are interested and you want more information on this event in Florida, you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. All right. So the colors have been put down, the bubbles have been popped, so let's blow this out. Now, you know, I always say with my blowouts that I always start somewhere in the middle and I fan my way out towards the edge of the canvas. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here, but again, no rhyme or reason since everything is kind of you know, thrown onto the wood panel here. So I'm just kind of starting somewhere in the middle and then kind of almost working my way out. So that way I don't have this big pool and puddle of paint in the center because we don't want that. If you start blowing inwards, then you're going to have this big puddle in the center of your either canvas or wood panel or whatever you're using. And then that puddle is just going to be way too thick and it's going to dry and it's going to crack and you don't want that. All right, so I'm just blowing everything out here. There are some cells popping up. A few more will pop up after the fact as well. So um, yeah, so aside from Fort Myers, Florida, I am also going to be in Dallas, Texas, September 27th to the 29th. I will be doing another fluid art experience. I'll be there with Massey Art Studios, Kathleen from Cause Creations, Tara from Pieces of Tara Artistry. Um, you know, there's going to be a bunch of us there. Uh, who else is going to be there? Jessica Winterstrom from Winterstrom Art, a couple of guest artists, um, Amber Goodwin and uh, Stu Studio 15, that's Brian. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of artists that are going to be in Texas. And if you want information on that event, you can go to the website at www.fluidartexperience.com. And last but not least, I will be teaching in Montreal, Canada, September 14th. Um, so for one day, I'm teaching two classes. 
If you want to come and see me in Montreal or hop on over the border from Boston, uh, I do have some people coming over from Boston to come and see me in Montreal, so I'm super excited. But yes, September 14th, teaching in Montreal or just outside of Montreal. Uh, but yeah, so if you want information on that, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. All right, so here is the final piece before I do the rest of it still wet and you can see like these cute little cell bubbles i actually really like the teeny tiny cells because they're kind of like water bubbles and air bubbles in the ocean so when i slap that turtle on there it's gonna look super cute um, so here we are with the lights off and the flash on and there's so much shimmer in this because of the metallic cobalt blue and the arteza so uh was there another one I'm trying to think no i think those were the only two maybe but yes definitely lots of shimmer and i'm loving the way this looks it's almost like a deep dark blue nighttime ocean kind of theme color so there you have it with the flash on and now it is the i don't know maybe a couple of days later so here is my metal stencil that again is from loli veffy they have silver, they have black. Um, I'm not sure what's left on the website. They have other, you know, shapes as well. My resin of choice obviously is always crystal resin. I will always use crystal resin and I'm using high tide piggy paste from Fluid Art Co. That is what I'm gonna use to make my little waves. Um, so yes, I use crystal resin. I've been using it for over four years now. And if you want to purchase any crystal resin, uh, you can do so on the crystal resin website and also save 7% off your order using code Canela7. You can find all this information with links, descriptions, um, you know, discount codes, websites in the description below in my videos. You will always find that information below as well as information for all the workshops I'll be doing. I am also doing a workshop, speaking of that, in my home in London, Ontario, and I believe that's October 19th and 20th, I believe. So if you want to come and see me in London, Ontario, I'll be doing classes in October, so just email me for more information. All right, so I mixed my resin up for three minutes, and I'm kind of speeding this process up because it is a long process. I literally just poured the resin on the board, used the heat gun, to warm it up and pop all the bubbles. I'm doing that again, popping all the bubbles. Now I'm using some tweezers to just pick out any fluffsters that I see on the board. And now I am doing a thin layer of the high tide piggy paste. And then I thought, no, you know, I'm gonna do a second layer because I want two waves in there. So don't put too much of the white and clearly, you know, I used a little shot glass there and I filled it to the top, which is a complete waste. You do not need that much. So now I'm using the heat gun. I warmed it up a little bit and now I'm just pushing upwards, not down onto it, not, you know, it's, um, I have it on an angle and I'm moving upwards. You want to push that white piggy paste upwards and not too far either. Well, it's a preference, but I don't like it too far. Um, so I'm just pushing it up just a little bit. And then as time goes, uh, these little pretty cells are going to come into play into that little white wave. So here I'm contemplating if I should do some waves near the top, but I really, really love those cells that are at the top and I didn't want to cover them with any waves. So I decided to forego any upper waves and that's it. So now I'm using my torch to just pop any bubbles that the heat gun didn't get. And now I am going to, here's where I made a mistake. I, what I should have done is I should have waited a couple of hours for the resin to get kind of tacky and sticky, um, but I didn't. And that is where I made a mistake here. Um, so if you are going to try and do this, my suggestion to you is to um, allow the resin about three hours or so, give or take, for it to get sticky and tacky. Um, because what happened here is I had a lot of resin on the surface of this, 
And as soon as I dropped the turtle in there, the resin seeped through the little holes uh, on the turtle. And so, uh, yeah, it seeped right through. However, if you let it get tacky a little bit, that's likely not to happen, okay? Um, so because of that, and because the resin seeped through the holes, I actually did, which is not shown on camera, a second layer of resin. So I just did a final top coat of resin, which you don't see in the camera, um, on this video, I mean, sorry. And now I'm just heating up the back of the board and peeling off the tape. I got a knife. Sometimes it's easier to just cut some of the little, you know, resin drips off. Um, but yeah, so I'm just heating up the side and then I am pulling off the tape and you'll see a super clear, clean backing. I love it. It's always so clean. Um, so very nice, clean and professional. And there you have it. So as I mentioned, off camera, I did a final coat of resin on top just to seal it all in. And it's so cute. I love it. And there you have it, my friends. I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I hope my client is watching and she loves it. But yeah, let me know. And I, like I said, if you want the turtles, you can get them from the Loli Veffy website. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.